science and magic, there lived a witch with powers so dark and evil that even the other witches feared her. Her name was Avarissa, and she was banished to an underground kingdom somewhere beneath Ohio and condemned to rule over a race of creatures called Greedles, a hideous breed of beasts that were half reptile and half game show contestant. This upset the already vile witch, and to make matters worse, she grew cranky. I, 17. Two now. Bingo. Ah, oh, what a jip! Free match! Game's over. Yes, oh. I... oh. Tell them what they've won. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Oh. Oh. The game is fixed! Boss! Another game! Don't make me use this. Excuse me, my evil queen. What is it? I won. I'm a winner. Congratulations. Now get lost. But I've never won anything before. Can I have a prize? Prize? We don't play for prizes. You know the rules. Maybe just a small memento. Something people can see and take me for a winner. I'll do even better. There. Now people can take you for granted. <laughs> I told you she was evil. <laughs> Pull that would allow her to flee the loathsome grievels and return to the surface world, thus ending her miserable sentence, and this one as well. And then one day, she found the answer she so desperately sought. My most vile and hideous queen, your subjects grow restless for their nightly bingo game. Good. But they're starting to rebel. What shall I tell them? It doesn't matter anymore, Sats. It's all over. The games, the insults, the Vanna White impressions. Listen to this. And 300 years hence, on Halloween night, the curse may be lifted if conditions are right. Really? Is it hence already? Well, where does the time go? This is my ticket out of here. After tonight, I'll be back to my old tricks again. <laughs> I haven't seen you this happy since they discovered scurvy. But this is no time for nostalgia. I must consult the wise and all-knowing shtick. You got a quarter. An omnipotent shtick, you who bought Xerox at 23. I seek your imperial wisdom. Two, three, four. I am the all knowing shtick. I know all and have seen everything. Nothing exists without my knowledge. For I am the all knowing keeper of all that is noble and worth keeping. Who are you? I'm Avarissa. We met 300 years ago. You didn't have to tell me. I knew that already. What do you want? I come to seek. I know. 
I also know you found a loophole in your curse clause. What must I do, O oh smart one, to be released from my unfortunate hex? I don't know. I mean, I do know, but it's pretty tricky. You want a soda? No. I knew that. Hey, you want to know where Elvis is? I would like to get back to my problem, if I can. Fine. Fine, fine. In order to be released from your curse, you must get a child to commit a cruel, evil, despicable deed. Burn! Sounds fair. Where do I get a child? Well, we'll have to order out. I could send a grievel to the service world to get you. A grievel? You would place my fate in the hands of an idiot reptile? Hey, that's the deal. Take it or leave it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm getting a call on another dispenser. So wait, 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 I'm not through. Oh, I almost forgot. You must complete this task before midnight tonight, lest you be cursed for another 300 years. The great stick has spoken! Avarices set up a competition to find the most intelligent Greville, or in this case, the least stupid. Well, that about completes our exciting first round, and now on to our elimination round. The winner of this round will be our grand prize winner. Let's get started. Where can you find the English Channel? Yes, hideous creature number two. On cable? Wrong. Not only wrong, stupid. You must be eliminated. <laughs> Moving on. What famous landmark stands in the New York Harbor? It's known as the Statue of... Limitations! The Statue of Limitations! Wrong. And speaking of statues... Well, I guess that makes you our grand prize winner. Erzatz? In just a few moments, he'll be transported by a blinding flash of light to the Earth's surface, where he is to bring back a small child. Not too large, maybe 70, 75 pounds. And now, back to you, Avarissa. But it's scary up there. Something might happen to me. Ah, <sighs> For once in your pathetic life, you have a point. You will take this rock with you for protection. Oh, gee, I feel much better now. Silence. I have given it the power to grant you one wish, should you need it in an emergency. Can I just take the rock and we'll call it even? You have until midnight to bring me a child. If you fail, you'll need that rock to wish you'd never been hatched. There's that. A little traveling music. An all-powerful stick on this Halloween night. Open the portal and let in the light. How about some lunch? Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, somewhere near Boston, a young boy named Lewis aspired to someday be the world's greatest magician. Jack of Diamonds, rise. Rise, Jack of Diamonds. Rise. This trick never works. And while Lewis practiced his tricks, fate was ready to play one of its own. Ah, 
Oh, 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 pl oh, please, please don't turn me to stone, mister. Please, please. I'm not a mister. I'm a kid. As in child? Yeah. Bingo. Who are you? What are you? Well, I'm a Grievel. My name's Sam. My friends call me Sam. My name's Lewis. My friends call me Weird. As the night progressed, Lewis and Sammy learned to trust each other, much like a child learns to trust a new friend. Well, actually, more like a child learns to trust an ugly little creature from the bowels of the earth. Yes, exactly like that. The handkerchief appears. Wow! You are good! Well, magic is my favorite thing. How would you like to see some real magic? There's no such thing. Wanna bet? Come over here. I'll show you. What are you gonna do? The disappearing Sammy and Lewis trick. This I gotta see. You will. McDonald's has a monster of an idea. In hopes of charming her young guest. She looks human. She looks awful. All right, listen up, you slimy heaps of scum. What a witch. We are about to be graced with a visit. I hope you will extend to this brat every courtesy. I mean it. If you don't cooperate, this place is going to look like stone. <laughs> this is exactly the type of behavior I'm referring to. Who's responsible for the whoopee cushion? Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome, help me out here. Why don't you welcome him a few more times? Why don't you shut up? <laughs> um, tell me, young man, what is your name? Louis. Louis, 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 Louis. Welcome to my subterranean underworld. I am Avarissa. Hi. Well, enough of the small talk. Let's do something despicable. Ixnay with the despicable day. He's not well. Needs medication. Huh? Tell me, Louis, do you like to play games? Yeah. Oh, I guess so. Splendid. Come. Let us go play. Like sands in an hourglass, so are the days of our lives. Anyway, time and sand were running out. Avarissa tried to trick Lewis into committing a cruel or despicable deed. Which was desperate to get Lewis to commit a despicable deed. As a last resort, she even tried to get him to sell her a used car. But Lewis was pure of heart and wouldn't commit an act of evil. All the kids in the world, I get Pollyanna. All the whelp seems to care about are his phony magic tricks. 
Yes, that, that's it. You found my hook. I didn't know it was missing. Silence, you slithering idiot. Go inform the group. It's game time. You have a plan, my queen? No, I feel like a game of Parcheesi. Yes, I have a plan. Now go, 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 go. Avarissa planned to tempt Lewis with the very thing he wanted most, the true power of magic. Now, Lewis, let's find out about our first round prize, or is that? The first round prize is the magical ability to create music out of thin air. Question number one. What is the second letter of the alphabet? Uh. Oh, Drat, I almost had it. Lewis? B. Absolutely correct. To collect your prize, just close your eyes, think of a musical sound, and wave your hand. <laughs> Like to think of one particular instrument. Wow! Wow, indeed. Ready for round two? Let's go for it. Wonderful. And what will Lewis, <laughs> the winner of round two, receive? That winner will acquire the magical power of levitation. Hmm. <clears throat> How much is 12 divided by 2? Yes, drooling creature in green? 6. It's 6. Definitely 6. Wow, what a genius. Way to go, Sammy. I win. Give me the prize. Not so fast. You have to answer the second part of that question. Within 2, what is the atomic weight of plutonium? Huh? Oh, sorry, wrong, and you were so close. The winner by default is Lewis. <laughs> Just point to something and think. before. Now, Lewis, the grand prize, the power of all powers, the power of the scepter. Are you ready for it? Yes. Yes! For this challenge, you need not answer any question. All you need do is step right up here and perform a little stunt. But you have only 60 seconds. All right, take this. Point this scepter and think stone. That's it? Yeah. It's a cake. Yeah, marble cake. What's supposed to happen? Nothing, he just turns to stone. Here, go, go, go. Almost 40 seconds. So hard to tell with this thing. Can he be turned back? Yes, go, go. Mm. No, no, I can't, I'll stay stone. No, I'm not sure. Well, I'm sure, you little... <laughs> Lewis, Lewis, what's one less grievel in the world? Nobody will ever miss it. Besides, they love being turned to stone, right, Sammy? Yes. Point the scepter. Think, Lewis. Think ultimate power. Think anything you want. Create, destroy matter. Buy anything wholesale. Replacement parts for that. I know this might be a bad time, Your Grace, but time's up. You little brat. You've renewed my lease for another 300 years. I'm sorry. 
sorry. You're sorry. You're gonna be a lot sorrier when you find out you're stuck here too. What do you mean? I'm saying there's no way out of here. No buses, no trains, no nothing. But I want to go home. I have to go home. Out of my way, you freaks. I gotta go find some glue. What am I gonna do? I can't stay here. We're family up there. We can be your family. Hi, guys. Sammy, I'm stuck here forever. I'm never gonna see my family again. Gee, kid, I feel bad. I mean, I was the one who got you here. I wish I could get you home. <laughs> Maybe if you started digging, we could... Hey, 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 what happened? He's gone. I forgot about the rock. Ha! He granted my wish. Gee, kid, I hope you're all right. Lewis returned to his home safe and sound, and Sammy knew he'd never forget little... What's his name? Avarissa was powerless and doomed for another 300 years. More chips. And drinks. Where are the drinks? Yeah, bring more food. Honestly, people, I only have two arms. So don't be surprised if some Halloween night a strange glow fills your room and a grievel comes to take you away. <laughs> Well, be surprised. I mean, it's not very likely, but it could happen. Okay, the odds against it are, are, are tremendous. But then again, all right, all right, it definitely won't happen. Happy? It's practically impossible. No way. A powerful NBC world premiere movie. And Wednesday night, if you want to learn the subtleties of seduction, then go to the master himself, Dan Fielding, on an all-new night court. Followed by My Two Dads on a special night. Then Sam must depend on blind faith when he leaps into the life of a concert pianist on Quantum Leap.